First thing we're going to do is install our subscription handling plugin or module. They're actually called modules in Zoops. Now what we need to do is go to zoops.org, the module repository, and then go down here to where it says e-commerce and click on that. And then what you want to do is go down to the one that says subscription module for Zoops and then go to view full details and then we'll download it here. And it'll pop up in a second here. And then all you need to do is save that to a folder on your computer for upload. We need to go to their home page here. It says home page, third eye software. Well, here's their home page. Now what you want to do here is you want to register. Click on register now. Go through the registration process. And I won't go through that with you. It's just standard. You register it. It sends you an email. And then once you've confirmed your registration, you need to sign in. And once you're here, you have to go to subscriptions. And then what you have to do is sign up for a general subscription. It's a one-time payment of $8.95. That allows you to accept PayPal payments. So go ahead and sign up for that. And then once you've done that, go to Downloads. And then you have to download the PayPal Gateway for subscription modules. So we'll click on that, download it to the same folder. Okay, and then we'll open up our folder here. And you notice that these are in tar.gz format, which are not able to be opened on our computer. So what you need to do is you need to go to your server to do that. And what we need to do is go to the cPanel in our server. And then click on File Manager. And go to where your web docs are stored. On this server, it's public underscore HTML. Then go down to where it says Modules. Click on a little file folder beside that. Now what we want to do is Upload Files. And what we want to do is upload the subscription one first. Just put it in there and click Upload. Now what we want to do is click on that file name right here. And over here, click Extract File Contents. And then you can close this window. And then what we want to do is we'll just go up one level and come back in to refresh it. And you'll see now that we have a subscription folder here. First thing to do is go and delete this tar.gz file off of here. So click on it and click Delete over on the right there. Now what you want to do is go inside the subscriptions folder and then what we want to do is upload files again and browse. This time select the PayPal, click upload and here it is down here. So click on that, click extract file contents. Now let's go back here and just close that window and then go back and look inside gateways and you should see PayPal in there now. If you don't then you didn't do something right. So you should see default and PayPal within the gateways. Okay we're all set there so, so when we go back to our Zoops control panel put your mouse on here and then go to modules and you'll see that our subscription module is down here and it's ready to be activated. So to activate it, just click on this and I'll press button below to install this module. So go ahead and do that. And then it comes up with some dialogue here and at the bottom it should say module subscri subscription installed successfully. Go back to the module administration page and here we go. And now you'll see over here we have our options to be able to set up our everything. So if we look at gateways first, now what we have to do is just type in PayPal here. It's, it's all small letters. Click create. It tells you that it's added successfully. And we'll refresh. 
And then we can set up our PayPal gateway here. So just click on PayPal and click Modify. Now what you would do is put your PayPal email address in here. Country code, you can leave that. Your currency, so these are the currencies you can choose from here. So pick one of those. PayPal post URL. The way it is right now, it's using the PayPal sandbox so that you can test it with a credit card without actually billing it. If you want to, when you want to go live, just take the word sandbox and one of the dots out of there. So it says www.paypal.com slash CGI bin slash WEBSCR. Okay, this is your logo image path. You can leave all this alone. Whether you're going to use subscriptions, yes or no. If you put no, it's a one time payment. If you put yes, of course, it's a subscription. Allow to rebill subscriptions, yes or no. So if you click yes, it's going to rebill. This is the path to the IPN. Now what you're going to have to do is change the path here. Now this is pretty easy. What you want to do is go back to your cPanel, then into File Manager again, and go to public underscore HTML, and go to Modules, and go to Subscription, and then go to Gateways, and then go to PayPal, and this, and then go to IPN. And remember, you're clicking a little file folder each time. And then you'll see here it says logs. Click there. And now what you want to do is copy this up here. This is actually the path. So highlight that. Click Control C. Go back to your PayPal. Again here, leave this IPN.log on the end, and then paste all of this in front of it. Now all we have to do is get rid of all the spaces out of here. Okay, and then all we have to do is create a file called IPN.log. So go back to where we just were, and then do a create new file. And call it IPN.log. Create. Now click on this and you need to make it writable. So just click on IPN.log. Then over here, click Change Permissions. And then set this so that all of the check marks, all of the boxes are checked, which will be 777. And click Change. Okay, so that's most of our path. But there is one piece missing yet. There's a piece that goes in front of here. So to find that, go back to your cPanel home page, then go into FTP Manager, and then go into FTP Accounts, and then click on Add FTP Account. Okay, so here's the beginning of the path. So we need to copy all this before public underscore HTML. So copy these two things. And then copy that in front of here. Okay, so now we have our entire path in here. And then we just save that. Now the first thing after we've got our gateway set up, let's go back to preferences now. And then Select our active gateway as PayPal. Currencies US dollars. And now we can go ahead and set up the way we want our subscriptions to work.